Well, hello, hello. This is Rose RCG Creations. How are you doing? I'm bringing to you a little bit something different. Making a taco bake. I've done this many times, different kinds of varieties, but what I'm doing is I processed my turkey back in December 2020, and this is December 22. So I'm going to be using everything that's in my kitchen. I'm, I went shopping today in my kitchen pantry. <laughs> Actually, it was, it was my canning room. <laughs> but I got two jars of turkey. I got some pinto beans. And I got some black beans. And a can of corn. And then I'm going to season it with my homemade taco seasoning mix. I made this back in June of 22. And you put one, te one teaspoon of this to one pound of meat. It's gluten-free, non-GMO. And then I'm going to be adding some spices, a little bit of chili for a little bit of kick, a little bit of onion powder, and a little bit of garlic. What you want to do is you get your casserole dish. You can, The thing with what's nice about this, depending on how many jars of this stuff that you have, detem determines what size casserole dish to put all this in the oven. Now I'm going to bake it at a uh, 400 degrees and the reason I'm doing that is because all this is already made with pre-cooked stuff So basically all I'm doing is heating it up Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side because I already sprayed grease on it Now let me get my little fixings here. Oh, let me I need another bowl To get all the juices because I'm saving some of this juice in case I might need it because I'm not going to be using the juices from each one of these containers, I'm only using the actual product. But I don't know if I'm going to need some extra juice because you won't know until you mix it all up. And let me get another one here. I know I probably will not need the the, the, the uh, bean juice, but you never know. But I want to make sure there's plenty of meat in it. Happy really enjoys his meat and his main dishes. He doesn't like to do just vegetarian. He will, but not really. He doesn't really like it. Okay. Now all I'm going to do is tear this apart. See how this is that whole piece of meat that was in the jar? All I did was take the meat away from the turkey. And then I put the turkey meat into my jar, and then I pressure canned it so it would be sustainable. Boy, this, this, is, this is a perfect way to make a meal in less than 30 minutes. This is only going to take 15 minutes to heat up in the oven. But I want to make sure that all my stuff is mixed up. Now, one, I have seen a bunch of stuff, and I've done this in the past, but you could, what you can do is you can always make, uh, put it all in layers, do like a layer casserole, but uh, it's just me and hubby. We're not entertaining or anything, so we don't need to make it, look, make it look pretty. But it is pretty when you see the like the black beans and then the pinto beans, the layer of the turkey, and all that, but I'm not going to do that because it's just me and hubby and... Our leftovers will be for lunch tomorrow. So all I'm doing is basically, like I said, I'm just separating the chicken. Make sure you work with clean utensils, clean, clean hands. And I'm just basically kind of shredding it so you don't want to get any big old bite-sized pieces of meat. Okay, so that works out good. I more than likely will not be using this, but let me save it in my sink just in case I do. I always like to keep an old dirty towel that I'm going to put in the dish in the washing machine right away to wipe my hands with because I didn't use soap. As you notice, I didn't see use any soap. I'm going to add my taco seasoning to this thing. And I'm just going to sprinkle it in. I'm not going to measure just because I'm going by look. I'm going to get my fork.
And let me just toss this because I want to make sure that all this is actually going to go ahead and add some of my onion powder. And y'all know I love me some onion. Garlic powder. And just a little bit of kick, a little chili powder. I'm not going to do a lot of this because I don't want a whole lot of kick. I like spicy, but it doesn't like me. Oops. Make sure you mix out all of it, go all the way to the very bottom. Make sure all the chicken is coated very well. This is a nice easy way to make tacos. And then I'm just going I am going to go ahead and heat up my taco shells. Okay? Just so we have them on the side to go along with this. I I'm not putting it into tacos. So look, there's a piece of chicken that didn't get separated. I'd like to I toast my um, taco shells because I like them toasty. Uh, or sometimes I'll just fry them in corn, uh, corn tortillas. I'll fry corn tortillas in oil. And that'll be toasty. But we're trying to do the locale stuff. We're trying to keep on our weight program. Even though it's the holidays and you kind of get off of it. It's still nice to have that. Okay. So now, pretty much every single piece of meat has gotten. I'm going to move this over to the side. I don't think I'm going to need it again, but I'm going to leave it open just in case I do. Now let's get to draining the beans. This is a jar of black beans. Oops. I need my lid, so... I can drain the juice and just use the beans only. And I pressure canned these beans in October of 2020. So I'm getting the most of the juice out. Get my little spatula because you definitely want to use a wood or plastic utensil. You don't want to use metal in your glass jars. And you definitely never want to use a metal knife. Butter knife, pointy knife, any kind of knife. Because the metal can compromise your jar. And you could have a glass breakage somewhere down the line when you're either doing pressure canning or if you're doing water bath canning. It's an awful lot of juice, but I know I don't want any of this black bean juice. So that's going to go down the sink so I can make room for my other jar. I will tell you when you're canning your beans, try if possible to eat them within the first year. That way they don't break down on you. Like see, see mine are some of them are whole, but most of them are mushed up. Now, if you were making refried beans or mashing these up, then this is a perfect one to use. Because then you just got to take a couple of mashes with your masher. And you're all set. But because this is going to be in the casserole, I'm not really too worried about it. And I like to have the mixture of the different beans just because I can. <laughs> now my pintos did, last, did a lot better than my black beans. That's just the part of the nature of the bean. That's why I like to mix my pintos with my black beans. See most of those black beans are all whole? You see that? Most of them are, black, are whole where the black ones are kind of mushy. Let me drain this so I don't want to spill. And of course, you can always do less or more. That's going to get washed because it's all dirty. Uh, beans. Do as much as you want, as little as you want. Don't do beans at all. You can do anything else, something else if you like. But because this is a 
taco bake. And hubby and I love beans. I'm putting beans in it. And that's just another way to reuse your processed food. And let me go this way. But let me save it because I'm not I'm gonna get my corn. But I'm not gonna use the juice from the corn. It's just gonna be the corn itself. Same thing, I'm going to drain the juice, the corn, the can of corn. You can omit the corn, you can leave it in there. It's totally up to you. I, I, I like the corn in here. I know I got my protein with my beans and I got my turkey in here. But the corn is give or take, so I'll tell you up to you. I like to I like to work with clean stuff. <laughs> Let me move this out of the side. And I'm using a fork just because just because I don't want to get something else dirty. I could get a spoon, but all I'm doing is mixing it up. And I should get a spoon because this is a full bowl, but that's okay. We're still good to go. I'm just going to stir this up. And I don't have to necessarily stir it up overly well unless you want to, but it's totally up to you. I'm mixing up my beans. I'm mixing up the corn. I'm making sure everything is all well incorporated. Smells good. And here's where you want to do the taste test to make sure you've got enough spices. This is another way to stir your spices around. Okay, I won't eat this anymore. And look, that didn't take hardly any time at all to stir and mix. See that? And of course, if you wanted to, you could put a layer of tortilla chips on the bottom and put this on top, but I'm not going to do that just because I don't want to. Well, again, like I said, we're trying to stay in our weight program, so I'm trying to stay away from the chips. So it's going to be a nice hearty meal. And this is a one dish meal. I don't have to worry about any sides, which is another thing. So that means less cleanup for me, which works out good. Oh, let me taste that. I forgot to taste it. Hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. I can taste the, um, the seasoning of the taco seasoning. Pretty darn good. I don't think I need to add anything more. Now, when I serve it, I may add some salt and pepper. Or add a little bit more of taco seeds, but I don't think it really needs it. And then hubby can do what he wants when he gets his plate. So and stuff. So now I'm gonna put this together. I'm gonna line this up. Then I'm gonna put it in the oven, and it's only gonna have to cook in the oven for 15 minutes, and it'll be ready. Then we'll be ready to eat. Oh, and hubby just got home. Hi, honey. Hello. He, he sees me recording, so he knows I'm recording. And he's looking like, oh! Now, this is not an appetizing thing, but it tastes good. Uh-huh. Do you hear him? He's like, eh. No, I said, uh-huh. I'm going, eh. <laughs> now, look at that. See? Hardly had any juices in it. So, we're good to go on that. I'm not going to cover it. You can if you want to, but I'm not going to. And it's going to be a full amount, but I am going to put a cookie sheet underneath it. So if I do have any overflow of any juices, it'll fall on the cookie sheet and it will not fall on my oven. That's another thing. I got a 
gonna clean my oven. It's way too dirty, but I'm not ready to do it yet. That's another another project for another day. <laughs> okay, we're done. That is good. That's delicious. <laughs> you hear him talking? <laughs> Her food's always delicious. She does a job. Thank you, honey. Okay, so let me get this over here out of the way. My oven's already preheated. So we're going to put it in the oven. Set my timer 15 minutes. We're bringing it back for the taste test. Okay, we are back. Here are all the ingredients that I use besides the turkey and the beans, but that's the spices. And here are my taco shells. I like mine crisp, toasty crispy. Now I am gonna show you closer up. If you want more liquid in yours to make it more like a casserole, but I don't, I guess, again, like I said, hubby and I don't care for that that way. We like it more on the dry side. See that? There's hardly any juices in there. You can definitely add, I would only use the juices from the turkey, okay, for the flavor. Not the corn or the beans, but you can if you want to. Now, on the bottom, let me see if I can show you that. It is moist from the juices of the heating of the meat just spilt. So if you go, if you grab on the bottom, it's more moist. But the top part got a little bit on the dry side, but not much at all, hardly any at all. Let me grab myself a fork. Grab one for the hubby. Get his plate in just a minute. But we're going to go ahead and do the taste test. Now, I haven't even added anything to it yet. But let me get my salt and pepper in case I need to do add to it. But I don't think I do. But you never know. So, there's a little bit of tor cooked tortilla, a baked tortilla. Mmm. I can definitely taste the taco seasoning easy, so I don't think I don't need to add anything more. I got a hint. Let me do one more taste. Mmm. I have a hint of the garlic. I could have used more onion. I don't think it needs any more chili because I don't want it any more spicier than it is, but hubby probably will. But he can always add it to his plate. So anyway, this is another win-win for us. And I would love to know how you do and what all the ingredients and spices that you put in your taco bake. And let me know in the comments. Take care. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.